Hey everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video. So today we're going to be looking at the Spartan Collection, uh, Spartan Yeroi, and Master Chief, uh, specifically from Halo 2. Um, so we're going to be checking that out. And yeah, I uh, got these from Target. Uh, for I, I believe I got Master Chief for 17 bucks, but that's just because they were doing like a 20% off thing. So I thought, eh, why not? You know, he was right there. Figured, you know, it'd be pretty cool. So I picked them up and... Uh, the Spartan Yoroi, I'm actually really interested in checking out because, uh, for one thing, I just really like the armor and the painting on this looks pretty good. So, yeah, just, uh, you know, just gonna open these up. Uh, I only saw June a couple times because I believe, uh, let's see, so it comes with, yeah, the, it comes with all these characters. We got the Spartan, uh, your, we got the Samurai armor, we got Master Chief, both of them. Uh, we got June and we got, uh, this guy, the Enigma. And uh, I was trying to find, I saw June once, but after that he's kind of gone, so I don't know. The, these things seem to kind of just show up randomly on my target. I don't know if that's that's like the same way for anyone else's, but yeah, I just kind of get inconsistent uh, kind of pickups. But hopefully they have the, uh, hopefully they have another June up there because I'm actually looking forward to picking him up. Uh, but either way, let's go ahead and get right to it. All right, and here we are with the uh, Halo figures. Now, as you can see, I actually managed to uh, find June. Uh, I think I remember earlier in the video, I said I, was, I found him, but then he kind of disappeared. And uh, Target actually kind of restocked, and there he was kind of back on the shelf. So I decided to pick him up. Uh, and yeah, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at all these guys. Now, first, uh, I guess first we can get June out the way since uh, he's the most recent. And uh, he's, he's, pretty, he's pretty well done. Uh, here you have the face sculpt, which looks pretty solid. I mean, you know, that, I think that's about what we saw from the Halo Reach. You know, just a you know, just a, a bald guy with the uh, tattoo on his face, but it looks pretty nice. The tattoo is actually pretty, you know, it's it's a sticker, obviously, but it's put on there pretty well. Um, I can't remember if he was this bald. Like, I think I remember he at least had a fuzz, but you know, still, like I said, I mean, still pretty good. The sniper rifle, I want to say is actually the uh, Halo Infinite sniper rifle. They just kind of try to make it look like Halo Reach, but as you can see, the scope is, like, a lot smaller than I think the uh, Reach sniper was, but uh, still, I mean, you know, you still kind of get the general idea. I mean, Halo Infinite really did take a lot from Reach, so, you know, this is still, I think, a pretty decent, uh, decent model. Like I said, I think if they just made the scope bigger, it would have, you know, looked it would have looked uh, spot on uh just like the other spartans he comes with a knife you know pretty good pretty decent amount of articulation he comes with uh two trigger finger hands uh but i just swapped this one out for like a more of a like uh just a cup hand uh just so you could grasp the uh, sniper rifle better and the joints are pretty good um he has a double joint let's see there we go yeah it's a little it's a little uh trickier for yeah this. yeah you know can hold the gun on his shoulder, you know, pretty cool. Uh, double joint, like I said, double joints on his elbow, double joints on his knees, using the kind of new system that I honestly, I still feel like it doesn't really make much of a difference. I don't know why they changed that, but still. And then, you know, hinge for the foot. Can't do a, can do a swivel, but can't do like an ankle rocker. And then has a toe hinge, you know, so pretty cool. You know, I like the little backpack right there. Um, now I think he's supposed to have a computer. I can't remember, but I think he's supposed to have a computer because this is painted orange. I might have to look back at the game or at the model or whatever, but I believe if this is supposed to be a computer, then I feel like they kind of cheaped out by just painting this little thing orange. But if this is supposed to be like it, then it's still, I guess it's nice attention to detail. I just, I never noticed it. So I, I got confused. I wasn't sure if that was or wasn't, but I do like, you know, again, the sniper, the sniper bullets, you know, the cool armor pieces, you know, the, uh, what is it like? It's like part of the, part of the ghillie suit, but not really a ghillie suit. I don't, I don't know what to call it, but yeah, no, just really good attention to detail. They did a pretty good job bringing this guy, you know, to life. Now I'm noticing that this doesn't, is this, oh, you know what? I think that's smart. So instead of like the McFarlane version where it just kind of hangs off and you can move it around and stuff. It, it's actually it seems to be attached to this joint to this part of the the mold right here and But it's not it's not fully connected to this so you can actually still move this around and it gives off 
it's still it doesn't it's still limited because of this in the way but it's it's still kind of able to move around without it looking weird you know like it's not completely hanging off to the side or whatever it's still kind of on the on his back so okay i, I kind of see what they're going for i don't know if they 100 percent executed it but it works it's pretty cool um his uh hand doesn't hold the gun very well but it holds it decent enough also moving a lot so that's probably not helping but i was gonna go ahead and just remove the head sculpt so you just it pops off fairly easy like that. I think I got it on. All right. Oh. All right. All right. There we go. So yeah, and there's his uh, his helmet. I'm just gonna leave this right here. Yeah. So there's his helmet, and uh, yeah, pretty pretty good. You know, pretty spot on to what we see in the game. I think there's supposed to be some lights right here, but ah, who cares? You know, they still got it the, the sculpted in detail at least, so it looks good. Uh, but yeah, pretty pretty cool figure, you know. Who, yeah, June is a character that like you know, like I was actually talking about this with a friend, but like they never really did anything after Reach. I mean, he's in the comic books, but you never ever see him in the game. So you know, unless you actively look up the source material and stuff, you don't know what happened to him. All you know is that he disappeared at the end of Reach. Like he went with Halsey and was never seen again. But it's still you know pretty pretty cool character um but yeah you know that's about it you know let's go ahead and move on to uh the spartan your roy i think it's called but i'm i just call it the samurai armor i think that's what everyone calls it comes with a disruptor which you know f i guess that's fine that makes sense but uh what makes most sense what i think most people will be posing him with is the energy sword because you know samurai sword makes sense right now i will say uh yeah, so like th this kind of bends down and it looks a little weird. I don't know if it's supposed to do that exactly, but it's not so bad. I noticed the foot joints are kind of loose though. In fact, a lot of the joints feel a little loose, but it's not bad to where he can't stand on his own. He can still, you know, pose pretty nicely, but yeah, you know, so there you have like, you know, just, I, I, I kind of have this pose right here just cause I think it's cool, but moving this aside just to see the detail. I mean, I really love this armor. Like I love it in the game. So having a toy form is pretty cool. And I, I love the uh, red and gold. It's so cool. Even though it looks kind of like Iron Man, just for here, it looks so cool. Um, I kind of wish I could make it make him look like this in the game. But sadly, all the coatings you have to, all the decent coatings you have to pay for, which is annoying. Like, I don't know. Because I think, what's my character? I think he's just a reddish, pinkish character, like a salmon-y looking coating. So... And that's only because they had that one challenge thing, so I got, I got the reward for that. And yeah, I mean, there's, they don't really have a lot of good coatings as of right now. But you know, even so, it's still, at least in toy form, they went all out and made him look really good. So it's it's a really nice armor. And again, uh, it's about the same amount of articulation: double joints on the elbows, double joints on the knees. You know, and this these uh, skirt pieces, I'm, I'm not sure what you call them, but like they're on a. They're very rubbery, they're just on a tab right there. So they actually move out the way pretty good and they're very flexible. So you do not have to worry about, you know, it limiting it too much. It still kind of gets in the way, but not enough to like really hurt, like mess it up. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't leave it posed too long just cause, you know, just like any rubber, it could get fixed to, if you leave it too long like this. So just, you know, I, I, I would just leave it in a standard pose. I mean, like I said, you could still get in a pretty, pretty cool poses, even just like standing still um you know the head's on a hinge with a ball joint sort of so you can kind of look down although because of this thing it kind of limits your articulation but you can like get him to look down that much look that's as far up as you can go so you might have to do some kind of angling or something like that to kind of make him look like he's looking up and then you know just looking straight forward like that so yeah pretty cool all right now looking at the final figure we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the Halo 2 Master Chief. Now, as far as I'm as aware, this is the original Halo 2. I don't think this is anniversary. Even though I don't think there's that much of a difference, I think, you know, th I think the, they did a pretty good job at staying true to what the original design was. They just like added a couple details. But regardless, um, this is, you know, this is still the Halo 2 version. And I don't know if you could tell, but I kind of have him in that pose from the poster. I don't know if any or the box cover. Yeah, I guess posted too, but I don't know if anyone remembers, but like, you know, I'm sure all the Halo fans remember, but like, you know, this is kind of the pose he had 
in that cut in that cover where he was like you know kneeling down and i think at the anniversary edition used this as the cover so i think you know people are most likely familiar with it but it's it's pretty iconic so i just kind of figured you know yeah you know this it, it needs to be you know this needs to be this pose for the video but uh you know regardless he comes with two smgs and of course you can dual wield them which is really nice you know uh on one hand i do kind of miss dual wielding on the other hand i kind of get why they you know never use it again uh it, it was only really helpful in halo 2 halo 3 didn't really utilize it that well it was still nice a nice option but they it, i don't know i always I always just use the single weapons but uh regardless so you know yeah i mean you know you can dual wield just like halo 2 and the articulation is pretty good although i do want to complain about something so now you'll see it when i bring out the old ma the, the the halo infinite master chief but so right here now it's obviously a you know a, supposed to be a separate piece and they did this like just like with the halo infinite master chief but for some reason they didn't do it with this one so it they just made it one solid piece so as you can see right here when it's like standing like this it looks okay but when it's bent like this you just have this giant like giant or like not giant but like this really large you know piece just sticking out when they could easily just put it on the knee like they did with the uh like i said the other one so that's a weird design choice i'm not a big fan of that and, and it's just it doesn't look great but i will say it does help with balancing so you can really get this pose but yeah i mean it's still it's not my favorite looking you know joint i would they could have easily made it look better because you know it looks better on the other version now i will say i, I can't let me see because i want to i'm gonna look at june here so okay june does have this i wonder if the others have that too but uh, for some reason, I'm only just now noticing from this Master Chief that he has this kind of ball peg. I'm not sure if that's how you call it, but, you know, just like the ball peg right there for the leg joints, the hip joints. And I've never noticed that. I don't know why I'm just now noticing that, but it's still, it allows for a pretty good, you know, range of motion. He can, you know, so you can pose your Master Chief however you want. And uh, I know a lot of people have been complaining about the paint. And I do understand he's a very bright green. I think even in Halo 2, he was not this bright of a green. He was like a very olive green. A little more like June, but maybe a little darker, a little more hunter green. Uh, I don't know, but like, all I know is that this is a pretty bright green. It's almost, it's almost neon. I wouldn't say it is neon. I think the promo pictures made it look worse than it, how it actually looks, but it still doesn't look great. Um... But I can kind of get past it. I mean, I, I guess I could see what they're doing. They're trying to differentiate all the different armors because, you know, it's going to be hard for some because you, you can almost like, mis, you know, mistake this for the Halo Infinite Master Chief. And, you know, I don't think anyone would blame you because to be fair, the, the designs aren't very different. But still, I think that's why they probably painted it the way they did just so that you could differentiate. OK, so this is a much brighter green. This must be Halo 2. Whereas the Master Chief from Halo Infinite is a little more of a darker green or like a different kind of green. So, uh, but I do appreciate that. And it's hard to tell because it's very slight, but they did add dry brushing to it. So it does give it that wear and tear. And so it's still, you know, they, it's still decent on paints. And also, you know, they just like the other figures, you can pull this out. I think you can. Uh. Well, I can feel it wiggling, but uh, just without wasting time, you can't pull that out and use it as a peg. Um, and then these come out and you can just like flip them around just like all the other figures. You can flip them around and put the SMGs in there. You know, he comes with multiple hands. Uh, and oh, I forgot to mention, but yeah, they finally went back to chrome visors. And I very much appreciate it. I mean, just look how cool that is with Master Chief's helmet, you know. So uh, I'm really glad they went back to chrome visors. Hope they stick with that um but yeah so that's about it i've been kind of rambling on long enough um my overall thoughts really like these figures i think they came out pretty good but let's go ahead and pull out some other figures to do some comparisons all right and here we have the sparring roy with the uh i don't even remember i forgot but uh this guy <laughs> you know the uh the other sparring from halo infinite um and yeah you know just kind of see some of the you know I don't even know. They're not. These aren't similar at all. But you know, just see the you know pretty cool details and stuff. Um, yeah. No. Like I said, I think uh, I think Jazzware is doing a really good job with these Spartan Collection figures. Uh, I wish that we did get six inch like you know characters like Arbiter and. Stuff. I kind of 
I kind of don't like that a lot of the elites and all that are being reduced to the, the smaller three to five inch characters, like uh, toys, but regardless, still, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, having these guys in bigger form, allowing from all that extra detail and painting, it is, you know, it's really cool. And I think these guys, like I said, I think they came out really good. But just wanted to show this and just show again the differences. But yeah, like I said, it, you know, it, I'm sure everyone loves the samurai armor. If not, then maybe this isn't for you. But uh, for everyone that does love that this armor set, this is definitely a must buy pickup. It's it, they did a good job translating it and giving it good colors and paint and all that stuff. So overall, like really good figure, figure top notch. Definitely recommend. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, and here we have the uh, noble team from Halo Reach. At least you know most of them. We actually we have four out of the six. Um, very, very excited to see George and Carter, but to finish this off, but, um, yeah, as you can see, so like, you know, Cats, the other uh, aside from June is the only one from Chrome. So, you know, it, it sucks that, you know, Noble Six and Emil didn't get the Chrome. Although I can kind of understand Emil. I mean, I, I don't know how you'd be able to do something like that with the uh, skull, but, um, either way still, you know, at least, it, like I said, it's just cool having them all. And June, if June looks a little bigger, that's only because I pulled them out a bit, uh, forward a bit. But otherwise, they're all about the same size, about the same articulation, maybe cat less so just because of the arm. But other than that, very identical and just really cool seeing them all together. I mean, you know, Noble Team, well, not the most developed characters. We're still really, you know, a, a really iconic team seeing them, you know, just and just really, you know, just crazy seeing how they just all died. I mean, that's something that I didn't really expect when playing the game. Uh, just that they would all die, even Noble Six. I mean, except for June, he's the only one that survived, but still. Uh, you know, really cool. Again, just like the last ones, not much to say, but I'm just, I'm really excited that they, they chose to do Noble Team, and I can't wait to see them finish it off, and I'm curious to see who they'll do next. I mean, my guess is either Red Team, since they already, or is it Red Team or Omega Team? I forgot, with the, whichever one with Jerome, Alice, and Douglas. Because they already got one out, they just need to finish two off. But if not that, then I'm guessing blue team from Halo 5, which I know not everyone not everyone's favorite designs, but still, you know, that's that's just the only team I, I think I can think of. Either that or if they come out in the next DLC, then maybe they'll do them. I don't know. Regardless, it's just cool to have these guys and I can't wait to see them completed. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the final comparison. All right, and here we have the comparison of the three Master Chiefs. Now, obviously, these two are just the same. I just want, you know, they're both the infinite design, but I just wanted to get it out just because, again, the Chrome Visor, Chrome Visor, and then non-Chrome Visor. I believe uh, they have a GameStop exclusive where it actually comes with the original CE Master Chief, or at least I think it's based off the Anniversary Edition, but still, it's still the original CE design, uh, slightly modified, uh, with the new infinite design, but it's given a darker paint. I still kind of feel like this is the best version just because I think because it he did look like this. He was a very like very olivey light shade of green, but he had like scorch marks and scratches. So I still feel like this is the best. I just wish that he came with that bite that chrome visor. But uh, regardless, here you have them. Now, again, I just wanted to get this out to show off the chrome but you can see like you know again this is a very different shade this is a very different shade so i imagine that they made this very light just so that it sticks out between these these two so again you know it's i get why people aren't crazy about the sh the green here but it's still it, it's I, I get why they did it but just to put him aside and just to put these two together uh because for me this i think this is still the ideal infinite chief but yeah i mean Again, you can see the similarities, the difference, like 343 really, you know, went above and beyond making sure that they they recreated that old design while still adding in their own touches. And I'm very thankful they did. I still think that the Infinite is like the one of the best, if not the probably the best design for Master Chief. I really like it. Of course, you can never beat the original. The original will always be the best, but for me personally, I, I just really like what they did with Infinite's design. It, it, it looks bulky. And very, and very like, you know, just massive, but also still, you know, retaining that classic Master Chief look. Uh, I really hope they do Halo 4, maybe 5. I mean, I like the 5 design too, just because it's the exact same as 4's, but I really love the Halo 4 design. I hope that they, re that they make that someday. But 
I just want to show off and I'm sure you know you already know but like yeah so that's again that's the joint that I don't like now look at it uh, and again I'm I know yeah but like I just wanted to show because like again they've done it before they had the technology I don't know why they cheaped out but I don't know like it's not a deal breaker it's just it looks weird but regardless again just really cool um really glad to have you know the old and new and I, I, I hope to see more more of the armors for master chief come out uh just because i've really liked each and every like design from the game so uh but regardless that's about it so let's go ahead and end the video all right and here we have our spartan collection figures uh, i want to thank you for watching this unboxing video i know i've been making a lot and that i haven't been doing a lot of art stuff it's just kind of easier to you know get these out when i don't have a when I, because you know I'm busy with school and I'm not able to like make as many art videos as I want, um, you know. Plus, I, I you know collecting is part of my hobby too, so it's just something I kind of want to share. Uh, but I, I hope y'all I hope y'all enjoyed it. I appreciate y'all for sitting down and watching the whole thing. And yeah, be sure to follow my Instagram page, Giovanni Arts Collectibles. I try to post as much as I can on there. Been kind of slacking. I apologize, but those, there's still plenty of content for you to look through. You know, for my art, my collection, other hobbies and stuff like that I'm into. Go ahead and give it a look. And I appreciate that. And uh, have a great day.